Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video I'm going to show you how to organize your office closet. So, but first, if you're looking to get organized, you can check out my free organizing video series on my website, Alejandra.tv. The link is below. Okay, so when it comes to organizing your office closet, one of the biggest problems that I see and hear about is um, like all the supplies that you need to organize in the closet or like all the wires and cords you need to contain or just like the extra stuff stuffed into a small office closet and nothing's really organized and it's frustrated when it's coming time to like access the stuff. So let me show you what I do to um, kind of keep everything streamlined, efficient, organized and beautiful. All right, so starting with the door right here. So my home office is, it like, it has a dual purpose of like the home office, but also the craft room and the gift wrap materials. So on the door right here, I've put a bungee cord. Um, it's like a bungee cord with hooks on it, which I will put a link, I'll put a link to all the products I'm gonna show on my website. Um, but this just stays at the top of the door right here and all the gift bags just kind of hang right here. It's nice and out of the way because you kind of want to keep your gift bags organized because you don't want to give a gift with all the bags ripped and torn and crinkled and stuff. So they stay nice and intact right here. And then on this over the door hook up here, I just have all the wine bags um, to kind of like separate them out. But uh, yeah, everything is just organized and out of the way. All right, so starting in the back corner back here, I have all of my paper, um, like backup paper, like computer paper, colored paper, um, extra notebooks and stuff inside of this hanging sweater bag organizer. So I love this. Like I was trying to think like, how can I organize papers in here without having to like tear down all the shelving in this closet? Because like, I would love to tear down the shelving, but we're renting the house and so that was not an option. So everything inside this closet is freestanding and it'll just move with me once we move to the new house. All right, so the sweater bag organizer is actually hanging backwards. It's hanging on this, um, this middle shelf right here. Like this is the main rod. It's not hanging on this rod because if it was, it would be too close to the wall and then you couldn't pull anything out um, like easily. So I'm hanging it on the middle one backwards kind of a long explanation, but when something doesn't work, you gotta try multiple things until you get it to work. So, um, so yeah, I have my label maker here. This is my old one, this is my new one. Um, this is my um, lined paper, colored lined paper, construction paper, computer paper. There's um, interior file folders that I keep on hand to use them for projects and stuff. There's more file folders. There's training, um, training books. And then down here I have, um, all of my old to-do lists. So one of the things I don't throw away are my old to-do lists because they're kind of like diaries. Like I love going back and looking back at like, you know, like here, this is like five years ago. Um, like I love looking back and saying like, oh, what was I doing in 2008? Or like, wow, like, wow, like, I don't know. I'm not doing that anymore. Or wow, I was so efficient that day or something like that. It's just fun to go back and look. So I just keep them down here and then Whenever I'm, you know, like getting organized or something, I'll just take a look down there. Okay, up here in these purple or these pink bins, I have grass for like Easter time or to put at the bottom of a gift bag to make it like, you know, give it more fluff or something. And everything is um, organized into these freezer bags right here. So these freezer bags, I literally use these things like I don't know, like five times over and over. Like once I reuse them a couple times in the kitchen, I'll bring them up to my craft room, my office, and then I'll just reuse them in here. So that's just stays in there, nice and organized. Okay, so moving on to this middle section right here. So I found these freestanding shelves that just like stack really nicely and I'm stacking them like, I think there's four of them stacked. Um, but I put all these shoe boxes here for all of my extra supplies in my office, like extra pens, pencils, backup supplies, greeting cards sorted by category, like thank you, holiday, birthday, all those things. Um, and then like some like craft materials for doing crafty things. So they stay in here. And then I just have extra bottles of water right here. Um, so if I don't want to go downstairs and get water, I can just grab one of these. Um, I have my battery kit right here, which I will do a video and show you what that looks like. And I have all my tackle boxes. I actually have eight tackle boxes in this closet with um, all types of like small organizing gadgets that you might have in your office, like ink cartridges, USB cables, um, cord organizers. I'm going to show you them um, in an upcoming video. 
But uh, yeah, those are there. And then I used these, um, when I was labeling all of these bins, I used these jumbo labels. The reason why I got a brand new label maker is because I couldn't use these jumbo labels in my old one. And I just feel like they're so fun. I feel like the first thing you see when you open this closet are these labels on these shoe boxes. And so you instantly find exactly what you're looking for with these fun big labels. So those just stay right there and four of them fit perfectly side by side. So that worked out well. And then back here, I have my uh, jumbo post-it notes for putting on my whiteboard when I'm teaching organizing concepts. And then I have my jumbo time timer for um, timing things in a fun way. And then up here, I have my scrapbook boxes for um, like collecting scrapbook things. Um, okay, so then in this corner over here, I have another hanging sweater bag organizer for all the extra notebooks and um, extra, like the magazines that I wanna keep that I've like taken notes on and stuff. And then there's business cards and then a hole puncher and then just like extra gadgets that I don't use every day, but I do use in my office periodically. And then at the very top of the closet, I have my tax box organizer that has all my tax returns organized by year. And then I put this pretty contact paper on the front of it to kind of like, I don't know, just make it look pretty. So is there something in your closet, in your office that you um, organize and it just looks great, it functions great? Um, if so, leave a comment below and let us know. And if this is your first time watching any of my YouTube videos, you can subscribe to my channel for more home organizing tips or visit my website at alahan.tv. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.